Vegas out here driving. Megan already got some of the basics down. She's gonna practice a little bit going to the right because she loves going to the left already. You need more throttle. So lucky that car's full of angle. Yeah, the angle's helping a lot, but it's still the same concept. Yeah. So She's lifting too late. John just gave her some advice, and it's good to have a, a, di a different voice because Megan was not lifting into the transition. She already got her circles down, but John told her to lift a little bit. But she's not doing it in the right place, but she is lifting and she's getting it down. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of RD Garage. Like you see in the title, how to teach someone to drift. Um, it's pretty easy, but it's better if you have some experience yourself, because if you don't, then you can't teach. Uh, I'm trying to teach Megan. This is her third time out on the car. The car has angle, a good amount of it, and welded diff, and e-brake, and suspension, and it's really well set up. So that's gonna help her more than somebody else, uh, some of the other guys out here that have stock cars with stock angle. So if you learn in less angle, and you learn, see, she's over here all cocky, because she just did transition. No, and they was, weren't that good. It was pretty good, it was really good. Um, so it was the best transition she's done so far um, but yeah some of these other guys are gonna have to learn with a, a smaller margin of error while she has a huge margin of error so it's gonna be easier for her to learn uh, and it also it's also a crutch because she if she gets in a car that doesn't have angle doesn't have proper suspension she's gonna have a harder time driving it. but if you learn in that car you're a better driver in my opinion uh, I'm not saying she's not a good driver she's gonna watch this I'm done now Anyways, basis of a drift is going to be the right tools. You need a welded diff, if you can, angle, if you can, suspension, steering wheel, seat, and hydraulic e-brake. Uh, dual caliper or inline both work. The proper tools make for a better drifting experience. You can definitely drift a stock Mustang or Z or, you know, Datsun or whatever. It's gonna be a lot harder because you don't have a, a proper e-brake to correct if you make a mistake. More angle to have a higher margin of error and proper suspension to help with body roll and grip and setting the car right. Steering wheel and seat matter because they keep you in place, which at that point you're not fighting yourself trying to control the car. You're just in the right place and then you can just control it, kind of like a controller for an Xbox or a PlayStation. You're gonna go out there, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna learn circles. Now, what I've been telling everyone out here is a perfect circle, right, can equate to a perfect RPM and a perfect degree of angle. Meaning the radius of the circle doesn't change. That's your angle. It'll never change if you keep a perfect circle. The RPM of the rear wheels will never change because it's also the radius of the circle. You, in technicality, can definitely do a perfect circle without adjusting your wheel or your throttle and the car will stay in drift. This is what I like to call the neutral point because if you can get to this, then you can understand from there what turning left or right does or what giving more or less gas does. Um, the, obviously the throttle controls the rear wheels, the steering controls the front wheels. It's a balance of front to rear. The more throttle you give it, the wider the corner. But you can do a shallower corner with more angle, see? Or you could do a wider corner with less throttle, which gives you less angle. So it, there's different concepts to it. That's how it drifting a track goes around and why people are modulating throttle. They're like, you know, rev it and then let it go. Because the radius of the corner is always changing. It's never constant. 
that's for further down the line you're gonna want to find your perfect circle your neutral learn that to the left then to the right when you're co comfortable with both of those then you're gonna do where the step that Megan's at right now which is transition that's gonna be its own hard point because of the body weight the rollover and each car is gonna roll over differently depending on suspension setup grip everything there's two ways to catch a rollover whether it be steering into the corner steering away from the corner or stepping into the throttle or away from the throttle you can catch it with angle or you can catch it with a lot with a shallower angle and less throttle so there's it depends of the radius of the corner that you're going into and where you're coming from so if you're coming from a second gear corner to a first gear corner so a bigger corner bigger radius circle to a smaller radius circle you're probably going to want to throw angle and slow down that's what most people do now if you're going from a smaller circle going to a bigger circle if you've ever seen fd and, and any of these tracks you see they start getting shallow because the wheel speed needs to catch up so the angle you could you could go to angle but the wheel speed won't be there so you'll mess up it's all a balance of your steering input and your throttle control uh, let's keep training megan and seeing where we go from here you're red why are you close up because you're red i like that shirt what White is that people problems this is that new new uh, Drift Happy, limited edition. Drift Happy what? Dot com. Oh. You gotta go on the website, you gotta buy it. When I got in the car, it doesn't adjust. transition she lifted but too late obviously to get to be a good drifter you also need a giant wing on your car don't forget this helps with uh, the fake downforce that was good she let go properly and then got back on it you guys saw that perfect transition she didn't let go you all saw that she didn't let go she stayed on throttle we heard it no couple circles get your radius right your throttle that helps transition she didn't get on it enough that car has a, a good amount of grip it's on Kenda's KR 20A here comes the referee give her a yellow card oh look at that sweet carbine yes yes carbine design wheels for the win It's like a baseball coach. Yeah. Do, the, do the hand signals. Feel third. Yes! It was a little early there. Still too early. But yeah. I told her to basically wait until the car's coming across the middle. Yes. The yes. Yes. She's doing it before the middle. Yeah. That's good. Do circles, find your radius. Your throttle. Okay, that was good. Still a little early, but not bad. Well, she's using the throttle to throw the car, the rollover, which is fine. You can do throttle or or steering input, but we prefer steering input around these parts. Never lift, boys. That was good. Do it again. Come on. Yes, yes. That's two transitions. She just did three corners. One more corner. Four corners. We got a four corner here. It's pretty good. Almost home. Yep.
because race car, many wings. John's riding with Megan. Give her a different perspective rather than my yelling. Man, she has gotten so much better in literally three events. And a learner's day is what everybody needs. If you're from Florida, you need to come to learner's day. Personal on hand, experience, teaching, learning. So if you saw when I drove, I basically was transitioning on throttle. And after the transition, I would lift a little bit to catch my radius of the next corner and then accelerate, get back on it. Um, if I had to, I would dab foot brake, you know, do an e-brake pull, but you slow down after the transition. Uh, when you go to transition, you stay on the throttle, steer into the next corner, and that adds load to the front of the car, which makes the body roll over. Then you can slow down the car, the rear of the car, because it's rolling over fairly fast. Um, so you can lift a little bit, maybe an e-brake pull, maybe a clutch in, whatever you feel comfortable with. Megan is doing a little different where she is letting go of the throttle, which causes the rollover. But that is a more violent rollover, is not the right way to do it in my opinion, but it is a way to do it. Look at this, just first out, ready to go. She's making everybody out here look bad. Dang, look at this, the boy, pro driver. She's gonna wanna just keep the car. I can't even. See, I said too much, you probably heard me. I'm really proud of Megan right now. She's killing it. Damn. You getting closer? That was perfect. You're getting really good. You're starting to throttle transition. You're doing it really good. The only thing is you're finding lock. You're finding all the way, all the angle, and you need to back off the throttle a little bit there. You're, I know you want to go faster, but you need to slow. I, I know I said, no, stay on throttle, stay on throttle, but now you just found too much throttle. But that was great. Oh, okay. Stay on it, throttle. Good, perfect. Nice. I, I want to say, guys, let's see if she needs initiates right here. I, she's really good, doing really good at her initiations. Nice clutch kick throttle into the corner. For a halftime show, I got this beautiful beast right here, Mr. John Derp is going to show us how it's done. John built this all himself, guys. Wiring, everything, everything. He designed this intake manifold, for God's sake. This is amazing. John is so smart. He's an engineer, of course. He designed all of this. These are Miata seats with the stock dash. All the gauges work, the CAN bus works, so even the windshield wiper works. The e-brake light works. Everything works in this car, even the AC. It's amazing. I love this car. It's so beautiful. Well, it will be beautiful, but the engineering behind it is beautiful. And how many horses does it have? You know, just a couple of uh, sixes. You smell it? You can smell the horse. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. John, actually, did, didn't you do this yourself? John, didn't you do this yourself? Yeah. John literally rolled his whole truck he made this he made i don't know people that can make this only like shops and stuff all right halftime show 600 horsepower 1jz 260 dotson This car is amazing!
perfect alignment, killing those tires properly. Obviously they roll over a little bit on the front and the inside because we run really low pressure because grip is life. We're gonna put another set, Kenda's KR20A. Best tire out there, my favorite. Uh, it's the best bang for your buck. All I run, all Mango runs. Like I said earlier today, part of learning is having the right tools. I love a proper tire. Just make sure you find the right tire for you, the right wheel, and set it up properly so it wears out evenly so you have constant grip and the same amount of grip if you keep purchasing in the same size tire and the same brand you get consistent because the grip never changes so you get consistent which makes you a better driver we like to run a 265 kr20 18 in the back and a 235 kr20 a 18 in the front That's the most corner she's ever done. Keep going. Dude. I think she's ready for the wedding ring, bro. Ah, da, 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 <laughs> says, no, no. Made it back to the house, car is safe, um, everything worked out great. I drove a little bit at the end there and I'm really tired, Megan's really tired, she's inside and this is going to be it. I mean, if you want to learn how to drift or teach somebody how to drift, just make sure you show them the basics and understand the radius to throttle and steering balance. So, see you guys next time, thank you for liking, subscribing, goodbye.